All right, here we go. Another episode. We're on episode seven. Here we go. Under the lights. Tim and the goat. Yo. Let's do this. Let's give you a... It's been a while since we've updated our standings to you guys, so uh, let's get our standings to you. Um, I'm in first place with 59 and 48. We got Cortland in second with 58 and 49. We have Lisa in third with 57 and 50. And Cole in last with the 53 to 54. Looking to make a comeback. I do think. Yeah, we'll see. Greatest comeback ever. We'll see. Uh, but Watch out. Watch out. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go into week eight here with the NFL with first game um, in London is the Broncos and the Jaguars. I guess uh, there was a report that Russell Wilson was doing. Um, I saw like, that. The like plane. High knees in the aisle of the plane while people were sleeping. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Doing stretching and everything. And it's like, okay. Russell Wilson, sit the fuck down. Like, dude, relax. <laughs> Not now. Like, you can do that when you're in your, like, your hotel room, man. But, um, um, but yeah, I'm picking the Jaguars. <laughs> Same here. Did you see his what he said last week before he got benched for the week? No. He said he's like Wolverine. He can heal fast, and then he was out for the week. It's like, dude, you just contradicted yourself right there. <laughs> yeah. He heal fast. That's why he didn't play. That's why he didn't play last, last week. Even last year when he hurt his thumb. He's like, oh, I heal fast. I'm like Wolverine. Yeah, he's a, he's yeah a, I picked Jaguars too, though. Different, it's, it's yeah. Different character now. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, Jaguars should win. I think Travis Etienne. He's like he's he's broken out. I mean, obviously they made they traded James Robinson. Oh after yeah. After he had that good game, so they're probably gonna ride that. Um, um, but yeah. I picked the Jaguars too. Um, you just can't trust the Broncos this year. Nope. Helps the Seahawks though. It does. We get their first two picks. First round and second round picks. Oh damn. Did not know that. So if they're bad, we get a high draft pick plus well, hopefully our they own stay pick. bad. Yep. So but I still like want to have faith for them, but I I can't each week. It just keeps getting lower. Nobody's and riding. Lower. Nobody's riding anymore. I was riding like the first few you weeks. Were. You were all about that Broncos country. Not anymore. Not riding. Driving. <laughs> driving. <laughs> I'm driving. I'm driving. Yeah, fucking just the Jaguars too. They're they're kind of a up and down team. They can score points, but they can't really win. But I I feel like they can definitely beat the Broncos this week. Yeah, they definitely improved. So I mean, I think they're. Yeah, like you said, you can't just tr- can't trust the Broncos anymore. You thought that they were going to be good, but in now with Russell being hurt and still leaving when he's healthy, underperforming, you know, and, uh, or rookie head coach now in the hot seat already. It's just it's not looking looking good to start out. Um, but next game we got the Panthers and the Falcons. Panthers with the big win against the Bucks, huge, huge win. win. Um, but I still think the Falcons will come away with the win. I think they are better um, than the Panthers. Um, but who's the QB this week for the Panthers? PJ? I think it's still PJ. I don't think Baker is healthy yet. You know, PJ did good for him last year. I was kind of surprised they didn't bring him back. Yeah. Like, didn't what's trust gonna him. hurt? Yeah, he didn't trust him. I guess didn't think he was. He All he's their, done is good things for him. Yeah, but like I just didn't think there was like their long term option. Um, but yeah, I'm going with the Falcons on this one. Going with the Falcons uh, too. Mariota's playing pretty good. Um, they you got know pretty what? Good All the people receivers. that haven't been playing like well in their first few years are now cracking in. Yeah, Gino's playing well. Mm-hmm. Marcus is playing well. Mm-hmm. I believe in the Falcons too this week. Definitely. Next game, Cowboys and the Bears. The Bears. I picked the Cowboys. The Cowboys. I picked the Cowboys too. Um, I still think they were better with Cooper Rush, though. 
<laughs> uh, just seeing with Dak, this this did they looked stale. They didn't look like they could were moving the ball as much. It didn't just didn't look. It looked better with Cooper Rush. Yeah, but it was his first game back. It was. I guess so. you know rust off or whatever, but. Maybe it's just I'm also just not a biggest big Dak fan, so I, maybe I'm just being a hater. Any, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I still pick them though. Um, I mean, to be, to Cooper win. Rush is playing was playing like is is playing like Mitch Trubisky, mm-hmm. but they have a better defense. They have a really good defense. That's kind of why I picked them for the you know just for that reason. Um, even though the Bears played well on Monday, you know Monday they night, did they did um, Justin Fields, even though he had. Like three or four fumbles. Yeah, it, it, I was surprised. I think yeah. I thought the Patriots were gonna like. Yeah, I picked, fumbled that many times. Or you even throw, you know, I think they threw three interceptions too, and then you know Mac Jones struggling when he came in, and then they bring in Bailey Zappi, and so now there's controversy there, and so I think that's what kind of messed them up, and so that, I think the Bears just took advantage of it, but mm-hmm. I just don't. I don't think the Bears, unless they prove me wrong again, I don't. I just don't see. I don't think they figured it out. I think that was just a. Um, bad planning by the the Patriots and couldn't get anything going. For sure. Yeah. Um, next game is Dolphins Lions. Um, I'm not even gonna let you pick because I already know who you're gonna pick. You're also gonna pick the Lions. Yep. Yep. They're gonna win by like thirty. <laughs> They're gonna win. Just Jared Goff. <laughs> Just because you said this. <laughs> yeah, well, DeAndre Swift's back, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. Uh, Dolphins are forty then. Yeah, I think just Dolphins have too many weapons, man. With Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. You know, that's good just, team. Yeah. But are they good enough? To beat the Lions, yes. Mm. I mean, they're what, one in five? Two in five? Yeah, but they're like one of the best offenses in the league, with also one of the worst defenses in the league. Yeah. They're like second in points scored, or yeah. in top five. It's their defense that's definitely letting them but down. But their defense is like top five in like yeah. points and given. We, <laughs> definitely need a better quarterback than Jared Goff. I think that's you definitely need to that's the things you need to fix and yeah the Lions will be good for sure, um, but Dolphins are definitely gonna win they'll beat the Lions. Mm-hmm. That would be I'd be shocked if the Lions won. I'd be pretty shocked. Just gotta wait and see. Cardinals Vikings. I picked the Cardinals for this one. This one's actually gonna be a really really close game. I feel like. I feel like it's gonna be a good one. Mm-hmm. I feel like it either could be a really low scoring game or a really high scoring game. Right. So Um, I am disagreeing with you again. I'm going with the Vikings. I just think they have too many weapons on offense. Just like I said with the Dolphins. Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Dalvin Cook, Cardinals defense. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> about it, but <laughs> Cardinals defense is shaky. And I think the Vikings offense can take advantage of it. But I do agree with you being it could be a high-scoring game just because Minnesota's defense is somewhat shaky too. But I think it's just a little bit better than Cardinals. Mm-hmm. And the plus they're in the division Seahawks. And it's kind of hard for me to pick them. But I hear you. Yeah, I think, like I said, Vikings just have too much. Mm-hmm. Raiders and the Saints. I'm going with the Raiders with this one, Ooh. actually. I know, I know. A lot of the new majority so far is... Devontae Adams yeah. is questionable. At least in my fantasy, that's what he is. Questionable. It's not good for Derek Carr. Nope. But I still pick the Raiders. I want to have belief in them. I mean... Like I say every single week about the Saints, I don't know who the quarterback's going to be every week. It's going to be Andy Dalton. Again? Yeah. Because they're not quite sure about Jameis because of his know. back and ankle. Do you know when he's coming back? At all? Yeah, I don't know because he broke his back and he has an ankle. He said he's, he's He said he's close, but he's not quite 100%. So he's still going to roll with Andy Dalton. Um. Their defense is solid, though. Yeah, but I think that's what's losing them games is Andy Dalton. But he has like he has had good moments. He can, but yeah, he just he's just not there. I don't think this is their answer. I think you know, once Jameis obviously gets healthy, I think he's gonna come back. I am kind of confused why you wouldn't just go with Taysom Hill. Um, but I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know either. But um, I picked the Saints um, just because I don't think the Raiders are good at all. <laughs> yeah. um, and But the Raiders has always been that team for me. If I Once I, I pick them, they lose. And then when I don't pick them, they win. And the Saints aren't the great either. Aren't that great either? But it's a the, weird matchup. The Raiders have a really bad secondary, and the Saints have pretty good wide receivers. You know, with Chris Olave, and um, they have a really fast wide receiver. I can't think of his name right now, but I just I don't think know they're going to about the Saints' offense there. Yeah, so I think just they're just going to just blow their secondary wide open. Um, hopefully, Kamara can get. Some, get some good, you know, get some good ground. Hopefully, that good game, a good game. Yeah, I think it could six, be six touchdowns. Six, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be nice. <laughs> I'd love to have one of those. Oh, yeah. me too. And the next game is the Patriots and the Jets. Uh, Jets are pretty, you know, I think may have found something that's working for them. Um, Got a good little young core there. They do. Sauce Gardner, man, he's a good corner. I don't. I don't Kind of liking him, um, but with the Patriots um, and their quarterback controversy that we talked about, can't trust them. And I mean, they already said Mac Jones is going to start, um, but if he struggles again, I mean, he's probably going to pull the plug again and put Zappy in because obviously, as soon as they put Zappy in, they were moving the f- ball and they were scored right away. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah, I picked the Jets just because I think they're they, they're hot right now. They're the hotter team. So that's my hand, reason going too. Yeah, hand. and man, that's it's literally the same exact reasons as why I picked the Jets too. So probably hear it from Lisa again because I've picked up against the Patriots a lot. <laughs> so definitely gonna hear it. Yeah, Steelers and the Eagles. <laughs> is this is gonna be the Eagles? First loss oh, of the year. I was just about to ask it's you that. It's <laughs> gonna be insane. <laughs> is this the, is this the week they do it? <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Everyone's gonna be like, "What the hell?" Oh man, the battle of uh, Pennsylvania right here. It's gonna be a good one. But I picked the Eagles. They're good. They're a good team, and they just traded for Robert Quinn too. T.J. Watt might be coming back. Well, that's only activated him, but they have like, well, like what, twenty-one days of the practice window or whatever. So. Come back soon. He's got some. He got some time. That'd be, that'd be cool if he came back for that game. You guys I definitely see need it. it. I can see it. You're going, you're going to need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it also depends on how much he plays. Well, our secondary, they've been injured a lot too. That's true. But it also depends like how healthy is he when he comes back. Like you know, they're gonna you know manage his you know his minutes, his play time, his you know plays. And so. I'd give him my right leg if he needed it. I don't think that's gonna help him. It would. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> no. If you keep looking at me like that, it looks like you're looking Dude, at something else. His Your two legs together is still not bigger than his one leg. It's pretty close. Not even close. I don't know. You're right, they're bigger. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Titans, <laughs> Texans. <laughs> I picked the Titans for this one. Let's just move on before we <laughs> <don't> hear it. <laughs> I picked the Titans for this one. I don't really feel like the Texans are. They're like the Jaguars. They're up and down team. It's good, but not good enough to win. But they're playing the Titans, and the Titans have Derrick Henry and King Henry. That's all you need. Yeah, <laughs> for the most part, the guy's huge. I picked the Titans too. You don't really know, like, do the Texans? I think they have Brandon Cook. Brandon Cooks, yeah, and they, but they don't really have like big name no. quarterback, big name running back. No, but that that, rook, that rookie running back, Damon Pierce, is he's been doing good, good for him. That's his name, um, the Pierce dude. Yeah, he's, he's been doing pretty good. Um, I pick the Titans too, just because you know, I think Derrick Henry's just too good. Texans are not. Um, you know, Ryan Tannehill, Tannehill hasn't been doing that good though either. I kind of think I'd switch to Malik Willis. Mm-hmm. Just because you drafted about, him for yeah. a reason, so yeah, why not see what he has? Um, but yeah, the Titans' defense is pretty good. Texans, like I said, Davis Mills, I don't think is that bad, and their their that rookie running back is not bad either. Um, but they're just not good enough to beat the Titans at all. 
Yeah. Colts and the Commanders. Pick the Commanders for this one. Picking against Sammy Boy for this week. Sam Owen, you're starting. No more Matty Ice. It's one of my upsets for the week. I had actually a uh, funny fact for you about Matt Ryan. Hmm. Cause you know on that Patriots game how they were up 28-3. to So apparently he was the starter for the Colts. I think it was like... F- I think it was 20... No, 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 I'm, I'm right now. I have to look it up again, but I think it was like 28 weeks and four days. Or three days. Mm. For it. And so it's like, again, 28 to 3. It's like, you can't escape that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I picked the Colts. Um, I just... I don't. I just can never. I just never think the Commanders are ever good. So I can just like always just pick against them. Plus, Jonathan Taylor's healthy now. Um, and yeah, we'll see what you know the Sam Ellinger can do if he's you know can actually push that ball. They have good wide receivers. You know they do. They do. Michael Pittman and Paris Campbell. Offense. Yeah, they do. They know Jonathan Taylor. And so they probably just going to go right. I wouldn't be surprised if they just go right to a running game. You know, just to get. Make uh, you know Sam Ellinger into a game manager instead. Only like do little, you know, quick easy reads for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's gonna help help him. I think that he can he can get his first win here against the Commanders. Yeah, I mean I could see it too, but I gotta pick an upset somewhere, and so yeah. gotta pick some upsets. I do. The next game is the 49ers and Rams. These ones, I uh, have two teams I don't like at all. Um, this one's going to be a good one, though. It is going to be a good one. Um, but I think the Niners usually have the Rams number. Yep. That's usually how it goes. And the NFC West, we each have like our own team that we can always beat. Yeah, no matter yeah how you good do. each team is, it's just like they just know, you know that team so well that like, they can beat them. Like Oakland and the Chiefs. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, but I picked the Niners. Um, I did too. Just because I. I think they can – the Rams, I think, are on a Super Bowl hangover. Um, their defense is not as good as it was. Um, they don't have a very good running game. Um, I have never thought Matthew Stafford was very good. I don't understand. All of a sudden, he just wins the Super Bowl, Think he, and everybody thinks he's a top-10 quarterback now. It's like I never thought he was a top-10 quarterback. He has a really good arm. He's a strong arm, but that's it. Um, but I think the Niners can – Jimmy G can come in and – Steal a win in L.A. Yeah, that's – I feel like that too. I Like, I think what we were talking about earlier before the video, like I said too, they do have their number. Mm-hmm. The Rams are – and the Rams just haven't been playing very well. Like, n- none of the good teams from last year are playing very well. Yeah. So, and the Bills and the Chiefs are only getting stronger. Yeah, well, Bengals are kind of starting. I think they're starting to Rise play a up. little bit better, but they had a slow start. Yes, they did. Yeah, they did. The Giants and the Seahawks. Dude. Who do you think I picked for this one? Better pick the Seahawks. Well, you're right. Good. I did. Man. Geno's hot. Geno's hot. Their defense is not they're that. I mean, it's. Not good, but it's not bad. Quandre Diggs. Quandre Diggs. That Texas rookie, boy. That rookie they got, Tariq Woolen, is good. He's a beast. Ken, Kenneth Walker, dude, is a beast as well. Uh, I was really happy when they drafted him. I was like, cause like, I knew that guy was you know good at Michigan State, so I was like, I'm glad we got him. Yeah. Um, you know, we're looking pretty good. Hopefully he stays healthy because you guys have bad luck with ever since Marshall. You guys yeah. have had some bad luck with some running backs. Dude, they can't, they can't stay healthy. Chris Carson had to retire because of his neck injury. Rashad Penny can't stay healthy Chris for Carson a, a full year. He was. He was good too. Rashad Penny was good when he was when he was healthy, but he can't stay healthy. So now he's got to hope that like all Walker your running can. backs have been good. They just can't stay healthy. Yep. Like Carson was. He was a monster. He was. Yeah, he was. But he he got hurt every year. Same with Penny, and then we just had to stick with Travis Homer or DJ Dallas. Sounds like a stripper name. I mean, the Giants <laughs> have been playing well too, so they could probably squeak out a win. Dude, I think this is this is going to be a 
close game. Like this is the only. Go anyway. Did you see it's the only game this week with a winning mm-hmm, record? <laughs> I did, and like yeah, everybody expected that. Yeah, I did. Definitely. I mean, I never faulted the Seahawks once. I always root for them. Yeah, you do. I always root for them. No, you don't. I mean, I think they're gonna still gonna lose. I still gotta root for them. No, you don't. <laughs> but no, Gino is Gino's good. Gino's. I think they he found the right place. You know, I think. Yeah, you know, could be, could be. I think really him sitting under Russell helped. And then I think he got to see what Russell was doing wrong. Yeah. And he's like, I have studied this. I know exactly what to do. And he's obviously has talked with the offensive coordinator. And I think, you know, they're, you know, they found something that's working. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of cool seeing that this is supposed to be a, rebu- a rebuild year. And we're having, you know, a, I mean, I know we're only four and a three, but. Hey, that was way past my ex- expectations. I only thought we were going to win four games this entire year. So yeah, it's cool. I'm I'm happy with what we're at so far. Yeah. So so don't jinx yourself with a losing streak right here. True, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm it just, could happen. It could. Now that I'm talking it up so much and talking all this shit, probably it's going to suck now. No, <laughs> I no, hope not. No. <laughs> but so now the Sunday night game is the Packers and the Bills. Packers are sh- another struggling team. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is struggling too. I think it's you know time for the uh, the old men, Rodgers and Brady, to uh, hang it up. It's time. Hit the hay. It's time. I think they're now just like I want to get as much money as I can. Yeah. Um, Did you know the Packers in general have never won in Buffalo? They've never won in Buffalo. Never. 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 Wow. I blew my mind when I saw that today, too. Well, that's going to keep going because the Bills, I think, are going to crush. Crush. I think it's going to be a boring Sunday night game because they're just going to – Bills just going to – I feel the same way. I feel like they're just going to crush them, dude. Yeah, because they, they don't have – you know, Aaron Rodgers has nobody to throw to. Fuck, and dude. He's let's gonna, sign up. He's going to sit there and, yeah, let's go to Green Bay. He's going to be all, you know, pissed off. And so, yeah, I think – Bills are just going to crush them. I feel the same way for that one, too. Yeah. For sure. I don't think it's going to be close at all. I feel like it's going to be boring once halftime hits. Mm-hmm. And if they put their backups in and if they somehow magically come back, that would be something. But I just I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see that happening at all. <laughs> There's no way. Like, they're just too good. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. That's true. Monday night game. Cleveland against the Bengals. This was a tough game for me to pick, actually. I didn't know if I should pick the Bengals, if I should pick the Browns. If I shouldn't even pick at all and just take the L. Leave a blank. That's what I should have done for the 49ers and Rams. <laughs> just take a fat L. Just don't even pick. But I pick... Pretty sure the Bengals are gonna win this game, but I picked the Browns, so, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I think your hate is more on the Bengals than it would be for the Browns. They did um, a lot of fucked up shit to the Steelers. They have. Yeah. It's a. It's a. That is definitely a big rivalry between you guys. Um, I picked the Bengals though, just because of I mean Joe Burrow, Jamar Ooh, Chase. Man. Yeah, g- very good wide receivers. Joe Mixon is good, um, and you know the Browns with Brissett are <laughs> decent, but just not there. Yeah, and yeah, so it'll be interesting. I think if they could just run the ball yeah. and just keep it intact. They'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, then their then their record's not really that bad, um, you know. So if they can, you know, keep somewhat in pace, because I think I think they only got like three more weeks until um, uh, Deshaun Watson comes back. Mas- week 11. Massage I mean, Watson, I should say. Because like 11, I think it's 11 I weeks? think it's week 11. I think it was 10 weeks or something like that. When 10 or 11, something like something that. like that, yeah. So, and I, yeah. Um, so that would be interesting, too, how good he plays. Um, or, yeah, I'm wondering how many um, people in fantasy football will pick him up or if people will refuse because of what's going on. Um, but... Massage Watson. Massage Watson. 
I don't not get in anybody's business. I don't really <laughs> want to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a different video. <laughs> that's a different video for a different time. Yeah, for a different controversy. Exactly. <sighs> Probably wait until that one c- concludes to talk about it. Well, we can wait a few weeks to yeah. talk about it. it. Doesn't need to be talked about. <laughs> we can wait until he starts. Exactly. If he starts. Well, I mean, yeah, once that gets closer, it's good. that's probably a lot. all what people are going to talk about is should Deshaun Watson be playing or whatever. And all right, Tim. Yeah. Thanks sure. again for Seat Geek for sponsoring us. And just remember to use that code at checkout under the lights for $20 off your first order. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for sponsoring. Man. Thanks, thanks, thanks for watching, for everybody. Man. Keep watching our videos. We know we're. Like and subscribe. We're gonna, be, we're gonna start trying to start making you know some different videos here and there. Some more videos. Different, you know, different content. Mix it up. Talk about other sports and other things, mm-hmm. and yeah. So look out for our next our uh, our new episodes. All right. We turn on your notifications. I shall. And you shall. You should. All right. You have to now. Have a good, good choice. Have a good day, everybody. Peace. Deuce.